Well, there's been quite a strong market over the last couple of years. And uh, whilst there has been a little bit of a dip um, in investor interest just after Brexit, that uh, has gone away again, away again I think. And uh, I think the outlook is pretty strong. Uh, we've seen cap rates compress in Prague quite substantially. Um, seen deals on the market at uh, four, four and a half percent, which is quite stunning for that kind of the region. Um, we 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 see investor interest continue in Poland, um, retail in particular. South African money has come in very strong again this year. Um, uh, the same in Romania. Um, we see Budapest having strong yield compression uh, down probably 200 basis points over the last 18 months or so. So all in all, I think uh, in, in investor interest is there and uh, the reason is very clear. It's uh, the weight of money to be invested. I mean, with, with, uh, yield, with yield gaps uh, to bonds of 4 or 5%, uh, even at low cap rates, real estate remains a strong investment uh, uh, case for most investors. And they come from all over the world. We've seen Korean money invest in Poland. We see Asian money in, in general being very strong. Uh, Malaysia, Singapore, China, uh, Middle Eastern money is still there, Canadian money is, is there, um, US money, so um, all in all, strong case for investment and uh, I think with the economic outlook for Central Euro Europe being reasonably positive, um, I don't expect it to change anytime soon. We've always had uh, in investment loans in Poland and the Czech Republic, what we're now seeing is uh, places like Hungary and Romania coming back on the map. Uh, we've done one or two deals in Hungary. We would like to do something in Romania. Um, it's a question of finding the right product and the right investor. Um, but overall, um, more banks are now looking at more countries than maybe a year or two ago.